Hey there, guys. Uh, we did go to Savers earlier. They had a half-off coupon for Sunday because it's President's Day weekend, holiday weekend. And I did pick up some things. I spent $31 and some odd change, and I'm going to show you what I found. I think I found some good things. <laughs> I'm Janet Decay the Mummy. And I'm Grimgory the Monkey. And together we host The, the Mummy and, and the Monkey's Hairy Scary Hangout! Friday nights on Facebook Live. Well, that was interesting. Whoa. Wow. Oh my god. Hey guys, Janet here. We did end up going to Savers earlier today. It's Sunday, February um, 16th, and our local Savers had a 50% off coupon that was out in emails. So there were a lot of people there shopping. I guess they all had the same idea too, and it's a holiday weekend where people have more people will have the time off. So I did end up finding a few things, and I'm going to show you right now. I found three pairs of shoes. This first pair is Michael Kors and they're sandals. This is like a navy blue color. This is all leather here and then on the strap it even says Michael Kors. They're a size, uh, what size are those? Size seven and a half and it has the, the logo they look like they were never worn. They literally look brand new without the box or without the tags. So I think when I go to list them, I'll state that they're new without the box or new without the tags. However eBay um, words that or however Poshmark does it. Um, but these were, what did I pay? So I paid 50% off of $15.99. So that's like 16. So I paid about $8 for these. But I think I can get at least 25 to 35 in that range because these are like brand new. So I'm going to give them a try. The sizing is a little small. Seven and a half is kind of small. But usually like around size eight and up is like the better size to get. But I think those are still good because they're so nice. And spring is around the corner. So even in the winter... I'm looking at just any type of shoe that I think would be good and sandals. Um, if sometimes if you buy them on an off season, uh, you can wait till spring or summer and they will sell. So this is a Franco Sarto. When I see Franco Sarto shoes at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, they're like 40 and 50 bucks brand new. These look like they were worn a little bit. They're leather, but they're real clean. You know what? Those might have been worn once. I mean, look how clean the soles are. And I think these are a size 8. So I paid 50% off of $13.49. So $13.50, I paid eh, like 7 like close to 7 bucks for that, around that price. But I, I think I can, again, get maybe $25. 30 for them. I'm going to try, I think, these on Poshmark because they look a little more trendy to see if it would sell faster on there rather than eBay. Same with these ones, but these need cleaned first. These are in used condition. They're Salvatore Ferragamo shoes. They're patent leather with leather lining and they're size 8B. 8B is uh, like a size 8 medium. It's about a medium width. And the bottoms, I don't see like a lot of scuffing, a little bit of wear on the sole. So I can take a magic eraser and just wipe that down with some mild soap and water. Oh, uh, there is a scuff on the toe. Okay, so the one major flaw is a scuff on the toe. They were $9.49, so I paid like about five bucks for them. And I think even though there's a little bit of scuffing there, I think they can still sell considering I only paid five for Ferragamos. And brand new Ferragamo shoes are like $200 to $400 range. So I think even in secondhand condition like this, I think they'll still sell. So I'm happy about that. And then this purse 
It's a vintage metal purse and it almost has like a snakeskin pattern. This is Whiting and Davis. So I'm going to cut the video quick and I'll open up everything here. <laughs> okay, so this is a Whiting and Davis vintage bag. And it has the um, Mesh Whiting and Davis Company made in USA tag there. If that shows up in the video. And it looks like this is just a little clutch purse. The inside looks pretty decent. The outside looks pretty good. I don't see a lot of wear on the metal there. It's uh, just a nice little metal clutch. And $3.99, so it was like 2 bucks with the half off. I've sold some Whiting and Davis vintage purses in the past that had gold on them. Not real gold, but they were gold colored um, for about $20-$25. This I'm not sure on, but because it was only $2 and because it is a good vintage brand, I thought I would give it a try. And it's just a nice little clutch. And then I, I had my <laughs> jewelry that I picked out in here. But I did pick out some jewelry pieces they had hanging up with their costume jewelry. This is a sterling silver and marcasite butterfly charm or pendant. This looks very, very heavily tarnished like silver, and there are some markings on the back. But because it's so little, it's hard to see. So let me try with the loop. Let's see if I can check with the loop. Yeah, there's definitely something on there. 925. Yeah, that says 925. Yay! So cool. It, they had a dollar ninety nine on it, so I pretty much got this for a buck, and I can wait and lot it up with other sterling silver things to sell later on, or maybe later on I could find a little chain to go with it and then sell it as a necklace. And even though it's not like a lot of silver, it's still a sterling silver piece. So I always look for cheap pieces like that that I can use later. Um, for sales and, and to put online and whatnot. Um, this is new on the card and it looks like they originally wanted $18 for it from Madewell. I think that's an Urban Outfitters brand. They had $3.99 on it at Saver so I paid two for it. Sterling silver posts. They're just little post earrings. And I think I could put these on Poshmark because Madewell seems to be a popular brand. People seem to really like Urban Outfitters. It's kind of like a trendy, hipster type of store. So, two bucks. Maybe I could put them online for ten bucks. If, if the posts are sterling silver, maybe people would want that. Now, these earrings are kind of cool. And all the jewels are there. They might be real gemstones. I'm not sure. They might just be different colored rhinestones. They wanted $3.99 for them. With the half off, I paid about two. But they're, they're uh, Vintage Ladies Clip-On Earrings, and they're Sarah Coventry brand. Sarah Coventry Costume Jewelry um, isn't like high profit, high dollar for the most part. But it has a following. So if you can pick up these pieces for a buck or two, sometimes you could sell them for 10, 15, 20 bucks, depending on the piece, depending on what people pay for them. So $2 and all the stones are intact and they look nice and colorful, I thought I would give them a try. Now these, however, is this it? Some of these, when I checked the backs of these earrings, so let's see, I paid $1.50, $1.50, and I need to check them again under the loop here to see what it really says. But one of these did say 14 karat gold. I'm really excited about that. Um, I think it's this one. Let me see if I can. Yeah, that's the one. So it says 14 karat under the loop. Or not under the loop. I can read it without the loop. But let's see. Yeah, just 14 karat. It doesn't say gold filled or anything. I think this is real 14 karat gold. Even though it's a real little piece, um, I think that's still really good. I think that's still good. And I think these other ones might be gold too, these posts. 
And I remember when I was in the store, I was looking at these earring posts and I saw writing on the sides, but it's super teeny tiny. So I need to check. Um, so give me a few minutes while I check under the loop and I'll be right back to confirm. Okay, so these earring backs right here, these little goldy ones, they are marked 14 karat. So I did find 14 karat gold for only $1.50. I'm so happy about that. That is amazing. Now, it is a small amount, but hey, it's gold. Now, these earrings that they were attached to, these itty bitties here, they don't have any markings on them, but because they were attached to these backs that said 14 karat, I'm going to hang on to these just in case if these are gold and they're just not marked. Um, I know people can buy like that acid test to test jewelry. I might do that. Or if I become too much of a Frady cat and don't want to mess with chemicals, I might just save a bunch of these little pieces and take them to a jeweler and and, and uh, have them check it. Um, but these two here, these little earrings that are rhinestone, um, there's no markings on them and when I um, did like the fog test where you kind of put your breath on it like <sighs> um, they did fog up and I guess with real diamonds they don't fog up from what I've been told so <sighs> see it fogs up I don't know if that shows up on the camera but they are not marked and then they have like this cheapy backing like this rubber backing so I'm thinking these are just costume but they are really pretty and sparkly. So I can probably save these and wait until I find some more rhinestone jewelry and just lot up all the rhinestone jewelry and put those like on an auction or something. But I'm really happy about my $1.50 14 karat gold find. That's pretty darn cool. Really cool. Now this one, this other thing I paid $1.50 for. There's two pairs of earrings here that are gold colored. Um, these posts, these real tiny ones with the blue, um, these posts are pointed like they were um, for pierced ears, and they have a marking on the side, but it's in teeny tiny writing, so I'm going to have to try the loop again, and maybe zoom in on my phone and try to take a picture to read them. But so far, the backings don't have any, any markings on them, but they might be... They might be gold or gold filled or gold plated, but we'll, we'll take a look. So give me a few more minutes and I'll get back to you on that one. Okay, well this itty bitty blue pair of earrings, and I'm not even sure on the stone, might be some type of, um, it looks too light to be sapphire, maybe like aquamarine or something, but they are marked 14 KT. INV, so I'm going to have to do a Google search on that. 14 KT INV. The INV might be the company name. 14 karat, so this is also 14 karat gold. That is awesome. Now these posts are not marked. For, ooh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, I dropped one of these. Now these are the ones that aren't marked 14 karat. And these are the ones that are marked 14 karat gold. So I did find some gold. Woohoo! Now this pair I'm going to check. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if that's real gold. Okay, now these aren't marked anything at all, and they have mismatched backs. And this one back looks like whatever plating was on it is wearing off. So I don't believe this to be real gold, but I think I'm going to keep them just in case because it was with these pieces that were marked 14 karat gold. So for these little earring sets, I paid a total of what? $1.50, $1.50. So I paid three bucks and found 14 karat gold. You never know what you're going to find. Always keep a lookout. And I'm just really happy about Our that. Sales went through. This is a vintage Avon compact. It definitely shows wear. It has rhinestones on it. It's a vintage makeup compact. This sold for five bucks. Nothing real crazy there. Um, this is a Preston and York leather coat. It's a long leather coat with shoulder pads. It's a lady size large. 
This sold for $59.99 plus shipping. And it's uh, probably like a 1980s type of coat. I picked this up last year from a friend of ours who um, had a bunch of like vintage stuff he wanted to part with. And I, I bought, bought it as a lot. So yeah, $59.99. All right, sold some more stuff on Poshmark. I think I sold more things on Poshmark than I did eBay today. Um, and I noticed certain things on Poshmark will sell faster than on eBay. Um, this is one of them. I have a, I have only five of these left. I bought a bunch of these when I found them at Mark's. Mark's is a, a local store that's a, a grocery store, but then they also have a closeout section. And I found these in the closeouts. This is Tokidoki Watchitude. It's a Watchitude snap watch, but it's the Tokidoki artwork. And they're little mermaid unicorn things. It's called Mermicorno. I paid $1.99 each for these watches. This sold on Poshmark for $18 plus shipping. And then I have some jewelry that sold. This is a sterling silver and coral ring. This one here is a size nine. And I believe that went for $12. And then this is a sterling silver jewelry lot that I put for $25 on Poshmark. They're little pendants and charms. And the, this black stone is onyx. This is CZ, the, the clear stone or the, the diamond looking stone. And then this other one is glass. There's like a teddy bear, a cross, a moon. Uh, but yeah, 25 and 12 and 18. And then this is a gothic choker lot. At least that's what I was calling it. I put it on Poshmark as the goth choker lot. And it has one, two, three, four costume jewelry chokers. And these are like the flea market jewelry that I find where it's like, you know, fill a bag, five bucks. When I can find stuff cheap. I lot it up and yeah this sold for uh, ten dollars for this costume jewelry so I'm gonna go pack those up I also sold a t-shirt I sold um, a Jack and Sally t-shirt from Nightmare Before Christmas I think that's in one of my clothing bins so that's gonna uh, I'll have to do some digging there but I like the small shiny things those are the most fun that and the the vintage toys